Take 54, class one equipment. We're looking at the SUS MA200, serial number 255, class one ID number 3192. We're going to cover the refurbishment process performed here at class one equipment, and then cover, uh, go over a, a operational uh, demonstration. We have our customer wafers loaded. Um, three different types of wafers and we'll go through uh, an alignment and an exposure to uh, show uh, full functionality of the MA200. Uh, Jude has been the uh, main refurbishment process with Mark and Jude will do the uh, explaining and go through the refurbishment process here. Uh, on to you Jude, if you can please go through the uh, main points of our refurbishment. So, uh, well, most of every assembly in this tool including the mask stage, the microscope manipulator, DVM, the WEC head, the BSA stage, the pre-aligner, the wafer transport. Okay, wafer transport, okay. We're all taken out of the tool. We're disassembled, clean, lubed, and reinstalled, set up, and tested. Okay. And so all major sub-assemblies removed, disassembled, cleaned, lubed. Reset up. Reset up. Mm -hmm. Optics. Optics. Um, checked. Optics were checked, cleaned. I know we have a, a brand new lamp, a new ellipsoidal mirror. Brand new lamp, new and and Integrator block. Denso lens, removed, fly's eye removed, all cleaned, inspected, reinstalled. You have setup. just to cover the 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 customer um, uh, setup here, running six inch wafers. Right, right now we're running six inch wafers. We have three different wafer types. I'm not sure of what we have is a thin wafer, which could be either gallium arsenide or silicon. Then we have either a sapphire or a quartz, and then a standard thicker silicon. Okay. So, so the system will run all, th yeah, all, all three, three different types type of materials, and uh, we will demonstrate this uh, here. And that's due to this this Omron head here, which is actually a let me see a pretty big upgrade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw in here. Okay. This is not this was, this did not come from the factory like this. Okay. This Omron. It's a pre aligner down here. Oh, the, and it okay. runs through a fiber optic. Oh wow. This head. Okay. So the prior owner also must have run some clear substrates or. Um, and just various different composition wafers because a standard pre aligner head would not. And they were, yeah, it was a MEMS, uh, MEMS company that, that we were running glass, so that, that does you. make sense. Okay. So I'm just going to do some, some overviews here, show the, the power supply while you maybe you get. You set up the power supply. Okay. Uh, we have a what, CIC 1000 here? It's a CIC 1200. Oh, 1200, okay. Uh, we're gonna show the backside scopes, um, the stages. Again, this is, Which is one part of the tool where the stages were, were completely taken apart and, and rebuilt. Also keep in mind, this is probably only the second MA200 that I know of anyway, with backside alignment. Give it below me. So. Okay. Yeah, I know very few were made, so. Very, very few were made. This is a MA200 with backside alignment capability. Anything also, else that we want to point at before yes, we start? At new the, transport the arms. Brand new transport arms. Brand new transport arms because the other arms um, were for larger cassettes, so they're much thicker. Okay, showing the WEC head, the BSA chuck. Another shot at the pre-liner. The monitor, the control. Let's see if we can get a good. Okay. Should I start the wafers? Yes. Let's uh, let's start. Put it in the first, first mask mode real quick. I noticed 
most of these wafers are pre-lining in less than 12 seconds. Okay, in that's... In the ports. That's a really good time. Move the camera over. The lamp is not on right now. I'm going to see it on the blue light. Because that first mask was just okay. Like it was in regular alignment and go back in between these Hey, come in. You'll notice right there, those are the three different wafer types right there. Yep. So yep. Handled it one just one handled one all three other. different types of wafers. Now, just to explain, we have the uh, lamp house, the shutter turning on and off, but as you've noticed, the uh, UV lamp is not on. Um, the tool has been, uh, nitrogen has been turned off already in preparation for shipment, uh, but you are hearing the shutter, and of course, we have done uh, the uniformity testing. It is. It has been tested thoroughly. What, what, so is the, what are the uniformity results? The uniformity is less than 1% over an 8-inch area, which is excellent. That's, yeah, Very so good. less than 1% over 8-inch area. Uh, what's the uh, um, intensity? 20, roughly 23 milliwatts at 405 at 900 watts. Okay. And that's very comparable to what they did with the original factory setup. So the tool is within spec. That's uh, important to note. And it's going through its, its cassette. Again, these are customer wafers. See the, the the wedge air compensation stage and head moving. Some of the aesthetic points here on the refurbishment: we have brand new uh, doors and windows. The stainless has been polished. Of course, some areas uh, still shows a, a bit of. Of stains, but for the most part, it's come come around very clean. Prior to shipment, the entire tool will be uh, locked down for transport, so all these uh, moving sub assemblies will be uh, uh, locked down. Optics will be removed. Here's the lamp house. All optics will be removed and packed separately. And the um, tool will, of course, be professionally created. Floating base included. Take a shot around the back here. See the other side of the tool. Pretty clean here out the back. Can you close the windows? I'll take a, a overall shot here.
and that's about it. Um, Jude, anything you want to add here before? Uh, I think we're on our last three or four wafers. Yep. But I think for purposes of the demonstration, we're Not that I can showing uh, the uh, shown functionality. It's a great tool. It's it uh, is one a, of a kind, and it's a beautiful lucky tool. Lucky to get it, really. Yep. No, I agree. I agree, and um, we know it's going to provide many years of, of successful operation to our customers. So we're very happy about that. Okay. Thanks, Jude.